Hello and welcome, I'm Liger and this is episode 20 of My Life in Football Manager and today we confirm ourselves as champions as you can see there and um, we're also going to be playing our final game of the season Lee Mington who sit currently rock bottom of the league so that's right we are champions and what I'll do is I'll just come to the league we did have a bit of a shaky end to the season there was no drama between us and Kidderminster in the end and unfortunately there was nothing to show you as we I think we won the league in between games anyway but as you can see we're going to this final game six points clear of Kidderminster and actually they did manage to beat us as well so they've obviously dropped some points somewhere or else um, that would have been an interesting game and I would have come back for that one but don't forget if you are enjoying the series and you want to follow along do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so without further ado we'll jump straight into the game and we're going to be putting out a rotated team for this game it looks like this. We've got Parks in goal, Salam, Ngapisi, Torre and Walls at the back. And what I'll do actually, they want to play the other way around. So Salam can play as the wing back with Walls as the full back. Edwards and Francis in midfield. Leach, Marsh and Verma are the attacking midfielders with Caps leading the line. And then on the bench we've got Smith, Whitehall, Simar and Omprion who have not made much of an impact this season. Like I said, we've got nothing to lose so... Rotate the team, give the other players a chance to have a break. We're going to finish top of the league anyway. So give these a run out, let them be uh, happy they got a run out towards the end. And we'll pump our fists, tell them to still go out and show what they can do to everybody. And into the match we go. One final time in the conference north. We'll get the game kicked off and underway. Lee Minton to start the gap, no, to start the game. <laughs> get my words out and they look to be going with the back five which hasn't posed us any problems so far this year I don't see why it would now especially considering they're rock bottom of the league we've got the ball Edwards back to Torrey out wide again to Walsh and keeping the ball nicely knocking it around and if there's anything you'd like to see going forwards do let me know down in the comments don't hesitate to give me some feedback keep it constructive down there Leamington, big ball forward, Torrey misses the header, and oh, they go close, and the defence uh, looks to switch off a little bit there. 15 minutes of the game gone, and look to build our first attack now, Salam with a long throw into the box. Burma, who's been a frustrating player all season, sometimes he plays well, for the most times actually he plays well, but he's just consistently injured so I've decided not to renew his contract but we'll see more of that in the season review and transfer episode next time out that's a long ball forward it's picked up by Leamington and as you can see fringe players just not quite up to the same standard as our strongest 11 not really building anything and Leamington having a lot of the ball which is a little bit worrying They've knocked it in and thankfully, as you can see, their strikers, poor quality, that's let them down all season and we are at home so I'm going to demand some more. Players obviously agree with that but yet to see any life from them and we'll just go up to an attacking mentality, start getting overloads in the final third. And it's Verma with a corner now, into the near post, and Capisi gets the header and it finally crosses the line after hitting both posts. And Ngapisi gets his third goal of the season and he's probably a player that I'll look to keep next season I think. He's not played a lot of game time this year and he's a player that does have bags of potential so I'd like to keep him going forward. Finally we do take the lead in this game and now we've got free kick with Verma who whips it in, can't find the head of any Telford player, goes for goal and it, uh, it's a Bit of a shocking mistake there from the keeper. Not quite sure what the keeper's trying to do. It's more or less straight at him, but let's have a look. I'm not going to get another angle on this. And yeah, I think that's more a mistake from the keeper than quality from Verma, but he gets a goal, gets his reward for trying anyway, and we go in, despite looking a little bit lackluster, we go in 2 0 to the good. So we will praise the team, 
There's no need to be overly harsh on them. It's a dead rubber game. And we come down this right-hand side. Verma with a long ball into the box. Finds Leach. And it's a poor effort from Leach. Straight at the keeper. Manages to recover the ball. Crosses Marsh on the edge of the area. And it's a effort. Blocked by the defender by Marsh. And Leamington finally get the ball all the way. I just want to say, going into next season, and we are going to be in the National League 4. So... One more step, and we will be up into the footballing league. Now, we've got bags of money in the bank with Telford at the moment, and I want to see some ambition from them if I'm going to stay here beyond that, because we're currently semi-professional, and I want to be pushing on to be a professional team sooner rather than later, whether that's with Telford or with somebody else. And I'm not act obviously, I'm not actively looking at moving anywhere, because we've just won the league, and. I don't see why I would be. Now, if job offers come in, it'd be silly to ignore them, depending on who it's from. But uh, we will keep our options open. And like I see, like I said, I want to see some ambition from Telford. And we did get a 2-0 win there. Didn't feel the need to make any subs because it's the end of the season. We've rotated the team. We'll praise the players. And as you can see, with that win, we do even break the 100-point barrier. 101 points on the board in the end. Looks like Kidderminster lost their final game as well. Where are they? Yeah, they lost to Brackley in the end. So it's going to be an interesting playoffs. But we'll continue the game one more time. We've already had our budgets, which I'll show you in next episode. So confirmation of the playoffs. Games for fall into the regionals. Final table looks like so. So don't forget to like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe to follow along with my life in Football Manager. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.